Hi guys, welcome to another PK12 Productions and today we're looking at iOS 4.2 beta for the actual iPad itself. So, basically this is it here. Uh, I got it um, yesterday obviously because it was released all developers uh, or ADC developers members uh, pretty much yesterday for download so I pretty much went and downloaded it and uh, installed it directly on my iPad obviously I've gotten rid of my jailbreak obviously so I can't you know do I don't know certain things but nonetheless it's pretty good uh, from what I can see uh, I've got the brightness turned right down obviously for the video the only thing I see that's bad so far on this uh, particular iOS uh, considering it's in beta the only thing that's not working is obviously because I'm on the Telstra network and it's not a supported, um, one of the supported networks on beta. But there are ways around that anyway, so Wi-Fi works and all that sort of stuff. The great thing about this, I have to say this is the most snappiest beta and it is as stable as 3.2.2. Uh, I mean, yeah, it is absolutely as stable as it. I haven't had a single crash or anything with this and it is bloody snappy, I'll tell you that. Alright, so obviously it's a clear factor here is that you're using folders now. So there's folders. Uh, one thing you should probably note, you can fit an entire page of apps in one folder as I've demonstrated here in the games folder. This is uh, almost 20 applications, uh, so 5, 10, 15, 20, yeah, 20 applications uh, that you fit on one page, usually on the iPad, and I fitted that in an entire folder. So all my game, I have an actual games folder. So it actually has more capacity in the actual folders than it does on the iPad, which is brilliant, obviously. Uh, so we've got Game Center here. Uh, it doesn't really, I don't know, work so much with iPad games as yet. Uh, if you want this to work, you have to sort of get iPhone apps to use Game Center on the iPad in beta mode at the moment. Uh, as far as I know, there's no, none of the iPad games seem to connect, even Real Racer doesn't seem to connect to the iPad version of Game Center as, as such, but you can also, you can view all your uh, stats and your achievements and your friends and that sort of stuff on here. So that's not a big deal. Uh, obviously, here we go into multitasking down the bottom here. Uh, so if I just go into Safari, and I bring up, say, the interweb, and I'll bring up that page. There we go. And we've got the Apple, Australian Apple side, obviously. And that's uh, quite snappy, obviously, which is good. And then we can pass ourselves back to Game Center if we want to where we lasted off, or we can go into settings straight away. It's gone straight into settings for me. Now I can go straight into mail, pretty much. So there we go. And obviously the same principle applies when you want to actually uh, get rid of things in the multitasking menu. Just simply hold down and you pretty much go off just like in the iPhone 4. Great thing about the this is that you can have multiple applications up to about seven applications showing uh, before you have to actually search you know and keep going through. That's pretty good also. There's not many uh, obviously there's not many multitasking apps like Pandora will work but uh, it must have already had the multitasking in there but there's not many multitasking apps on the iPad as such as yet but take full advantage of 4.2 since the beta only got released yesterday or so uh, so yeah so as you can see I've pretty much cleaned up my um, applications well I had a couple of pages now I've only got uh, one two three uh, that's just the iPhone apps there so that works out quite well one other thing also is that you'll probably find is that the top part here is actually now a mute button so if I do that it's actually a mute button to actually lock in you actually have to do what you do on the iPhone 4 is to go straight in to multitasking 
and you can go straight and lock it from here and that will lock the screen from moving as you can see so yeah I don't really like that feature as such because um, yeah I'd rather have the lock up here more so than the mute button but another good thing also is that you can adjust brightness from the multitasking menu as well so there you go brightness can be adjusted from here now you don't have to go into settings uh, which I thought was cool other things we got here like YouTube has been updated now so you can now put likes and dislikes in now instead of putting in stars so I thought that was pretty cool as well uh, so if we go into say one, two videos if I pick one of me why not we'll go into there go straight into there obviously you gotta have it's got a bit of a fast intake there but it works pretty well and obviously you can run it from here as well if you wanted to differences here also you can share via email that's not a big new secret there there's not really much else features I can tell you about besides the add the change of the uh, the like and dislike functionality quality wise still same obviously so I don't really think there's any other features I can touch on that but it does have multitasking enabled though so that's pretty good the app store there's not really much difference there or the iTunes store calendars not much difference there I'll show you guys the printing functionality that's available in notes Safari and of course uh, in a multiple apps, but obviously in uh, uh, iWork, uh, the pages and everything like that, they need to be updated before you can see the print functionality. But we'll go on to say something like uh, Safari. So we'll go on to Safari. Whoops, Safari. Right, so say we want to actually do a print job. So we've got to hit the. If we go into here, we can see there's a functionality up here now that you hit and you can see the print option there so you hit print and basically you go select print and it will go look for your printers for some reason it doesn't see my wireless printer uh, so that sort of sucks for me <laughs> but nonetheless I'm sure when the final release is it will hopefully search, see my printer on the wireless network but nonetheless it doesn't uh, so you could print many copies and go on, but once that actually works, that'll be nice. In the next installment of the beta, hopefully it does work. But nonetheless, that is the print function. Uh, this is not only available in there, it's available in the majority of the apps that you can do text-based uh, type things. Uh, so, let's try that again. Okay, so if I look in here and I go maybe... Add new notes. There's really nothing new to this to me. Like, it's just. <laughs> yeah, I guess there's really nothing to show on this. Because half the functionality is not functional at this point. So it actually isn't really that useful. <laughs> the notes application. Okay. Settings wise. There's not really a lot of changes here, besides the fact that now you can't actually put in your APN settings, which sucks, because now I have to rely on shit like um, a Profiler, which I have to copy a profile carrier settings over, from unlock.co.nz, which is a pain in the ass because it doesn't work properly anyway, on 4.2, but that is a brief tour of the beta of 4.2. Cheers.